Uh, hi, it's James for Scenes to TV. We're here at the Freemasons Hall where the Air Awards are in Adelaide again for the third year in a row. Tonight we're going to be talking to some of the artists that have won and also uh, some of the people that are here for IndieCon across the road at Lot 14. I'm the only female artist from Groot Island and Pickerton Island that sings, so to be able to sing in language and be recognised on such a huge platform for your hard work, it, it's just incredible and I'm really so thankful that I get to share this industry with like people like Baker Boy and Moto Juju and Thelma Plum, like it's just, yeah, it's incredible. So I was here two years ago, um, wasn't formally invited, um, but I did have a dream that one day, I sat in the audience, watched the whole seminar two years ago and I had a dream that one day I'll actually be invited and I guess this was something on my list that I really wanted to happen for my, myself in my career was to be invited here. Hello. It's all happening over here right now. And like We're going to have a single out by the end of the year. We're pretty excited about it. We're doing the next album now. We're writing. So like, yeah. yeah. It's an absolute pleasure to, um, to, to receive this award on behalf of um, Slava and Lenny um, Gregorian. The conductor of the Adelaide Symphony Orchestra with Slava and Lenny was Benjamin Northey, so I think thanks, big thanks to Ben as well. So uh, yeah, it's an absolute pleasure. I wrote this album sort of thinking that maybe it was too personal for it to be relatable to anyone else, and to find out it's quite the opposite is really, it's, yeah, it's really special. I think there's a lot of people with a lot of things to say. Coming at something as big as politics from that perspective, you know, I think it, it it just begs to be heard. You know, putting out mixtapes and all that for years and then finally putting an album, getting some love over it, man, it's, it's overwhelming, I'm happy. It's just inspiring in general, like, just seeing rap music, like, dominating the charts and dominating the globe. The industry in Australia is not going to support good music, so it's up to labels to do that. I don't think we have any secret, but we just put out good music and that means more than anything else. That's what we do. We run a record label. We, that's what we've always done and we care about it. We care about Australian music and we just find a way to keep going. Anyone can start their own label. There's no barriers to ent entry in the indie sector. You need to know how to connect, how to engage, how to get your music heard, how to develop relationships. The group of us have played in various different bands around Adelaide for a, a very long time. So it's nice to see the like rewards of, I guess, sticking around. There's nothing that an independent label can't do compared to a major label. And we're lucky to work with partners and distributors around the world. And yeah. And we're just trying to be there for, you know, champion Aussie music around the world, make sure that it gets out. And just trying to provide advice around streaming and what to do and release strategy and campaign strategy and just kind of the advice that a lot of independent artists miss out on. Things are going great for us and we're really happy to be around. Yeah, I think now more than ever artists and you know creators can go direct to market, go directly to their fans. I think the big opportunities are trying to find the most efficient way to do that. It's events like IndieCon and, and you know, the Air Awards which celebrate these kind of innovative ideas that we all get together and try and share information and learn as much so we can do the best job possible for our artists. There's never been as many real opportunities to you know, embrace what platforms, platforms have to offer us and today genuine and creative individuals can really be on the spotlight you know, by really showcasing their creative outlets across you know, platforms. The indie has really got the opportunity to go out there into the bigger wider world and participate. I just like to enjoy everything and what people have got to offer. It's, it's a really exciting time for hip-hop in Australia. Different artists from diverse backgrounds are starting to come to the forefront of the genre and it's, it's just really exciting. The, the local scene Adelaide's always been there but there's been a really big push in community drive around the scene. It's going to be really good and fun to watch over the next five to ten years because there's a lot of good talent coming out of Adelaide at the moment.